Got everything set up. Working good. American Truck Simulator. Down to the land of New Mexico today. Unfortunately, as always happens, we got a new mod for lights. I noticed the lights on the trucks were very um, dim. So we had to get a new mod to hopefully make them light up. So we're way back here in Fresno. So with the jobs we take are going to lead us into New Mexico, hopefully, but it'll be a long drive beforehand. That's a good drive, actually. We don't have to go all the way to New Mexico on the first drive, but it would be nice. There are no jobs to New Mexico. Well, there's one. We can go to Gallup with an empty chassis. Las Cruces with some toys. Oh, that's a that's a long trip. Actually, that, that trip seems kind of nice. Nice and long, and but it doesn't pay as much as some of the other ones. We do still need a lot of money to pay back all of our bank loans. So let's think about this. We can go to Nogales. This is a heavy job. I don't know if we can do heavy cargo. I'm worried about heavy cargo. Am I worried about heavy cargo? Is there a way to check out the truck? Truck, 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 truck. Dealer, diagnostics. Damage, no, they don't tell you. 460 horsepower, 2300 nanometers. I tell you what, let's do that. Let's do that uh, heavy cargo, see what happens. Volvo. Oh. I don't think the Volvo is going to do it. I had a truck before that could have done it, but it's Volvo, I'm going to say no. Page. Vegas. All these are close. They're on the way. They're on the way to New Mexico. Meat. Oh, you meet to Vegas. Tires to Tucson. All right, let's go to Vegas. We're going to drop this meat off in Vegas, the double trailer, and then from Vegas, we'll be able to head on over to New Mexico. That's what we're going to do. Let's go pick up some meat. All right. I did drive around a bit. Just to make sure everything was uh, working correctly. And everything got my seal of approval. Well, nothing immediately stuck out as not working. I mean, you never know what you're going to find. But you never know. Well, this is. It's always hard getting used to uh, the truck again. Because when I make those YouTube videos, the GPS is up on the windshield. Here on Twitch, it's down on the... Uh, what's going on here? Here on Twitch, it's in the dash bar. All right. Craft times. Not strictly legal per se what I'm doing here, but hey. This should be a turn lane. In the real world, this would be a turn lane, not a uh, not just a shoulder. Why am I driving so far that way? Oops, I know what's wrong. There you go. Every time I look at the speed, I'm like, wait a second, I'm going in kilometers here. Something's wrong. Uh, feels 
nice to get out in the road. At 4.30 in the morning. On a Friday. Wow. Driving the speed limit is a little, uh, <laughs> a little boring, a little slow. Stop. I was gonna say we could stop at the cafe. Oh, that must. Which one's the cafe? Oh. Call me crazy, but I think I was just at this crap times last. A second, was I here, just here last week? I was here last week. It seems familiar. Ah, what am I going to say? Everything sounds, seems familiar. If you drive it enough. But yeah, I really think I went here last week. Maybe a different job. We're going to get to New Mexico. That's going to be exciting. I've already been there a couple times on YouTube. Went to Grimm. Drove through Albuquerque, Socorro, to Alamo Gordo. I was talking about it with some people I know. and The map and uh, the, the things you see there, they're actually realistic. Outside Alamo Gordo in real life is a giant metal roadrunner sculpture. And it's in the game, so they the SCS must have done a lot of a lot of work uh, researching this stuff. I know in Albuquerque they really have that really big intersection with all the highways and the lights at night. That's so. I'm thinking most of the stuff you see, well, the unusual and interesting stuff you see is all real. Naturally, some of the boring buildings. And, just regular old houses. I mean, while they may be real somewhere, they're not unique to cities. Although, maybe the style is. Yeah, actually, yeah. Now with Google uh, Google Maps, you can you can see the style of a place and design accordingly. So I'm guessing SCS just Google Maps it. Says, oh, this is what this place looks like. And then Google Maps will show you lots of pictures of that actual place, lots of things of interest, like the Roadrunner statue. And they included it. So I'm guessing these cities are actually pr pretty realistic. Well, they're not completely fabricated. You know, I think I went to that Chevron, actually, last time. Oh, yeah, I think I went to that, that. I think that's where I went, the Chevron. I got the Shell tanker, and I couldn't park it right. Yeah, that was a YouTube thing, I think. It's a nice car. Some people drive cars in ATS. Uh, I think I've driven a I remember driving a car. I tried a car once. I didn't really particularly like it. I mean, it wasn't bad. I said I. So yeah. I remember being very hard to see out of. Next dude. But I don't. I don't know if you could haul a load in a car. I don't know what the mod actually did. All right. Let's check out the old freight market. What are we getting? These doubles to meet to Vegas. See, Vegas, we'll get to Vegas, and then we just need to go east, and we'll get where we need to go. So I think this was a good choice. Ooh, 
the sunrise. Ooh. Well, it's hard to it's hard to go up and get um, track I or what I wanted to do. Track hour is really great for looking ahead, and to the left and to the right. Up and down, not so much. I probably should have looked. Hey, not bad. I just kind of guessed that mostly. Got in there. Let's see what we got. Meat. Gives you a good look at the uh, truck. I got a heavy cargo paint skin on it, but we're not for heavy cargo. Refrigerated meat to Vegas. Nice, nice, nice. I hear water. Oh, the water's down on the ceiling, bottom right there. A little tank of water. We're probably going to the right, but. I should really, whoa, I should really drive the truck. It's a bit hard to drive out of that camera view. All right, let's see where we're going. I think we're getting on the highway. Yeah, we're getting on the highway there. Going south. What's that smoke? Is there a fire? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, smokestack. Games are always cool just for looking around and rubbernecking, see what's going on. I think that's why I get, I, get, <laughs> I think that's why I get in so many accidents that I, uh, that I'm always just looking around, looking at things. And the truck kind of uh, swerves around. I'll tell you one thing though, the the Peterbilt, uh, I think I got the 529 on YouTube, I think I like it more than I like this truck. Well, it's, it's got a few different things. It's got the mirrors on the hood, which I find I use a lot, because otherwise you got to keep turning left and right. I find I use the, the mirrors on the hood a lot, and you can't do that on a cab over. Well. But you can't do that in a, in this game with a cab over. But I think they make mirrors that come out on, on the cab over that they stick them next, stick them on, you know, metal poles sticking out that you could see to the sides. But they don't do that in the game. I like that part, I think it carries more. I think my Peterbilt's a little more robust for heavy cargo. Justin track IR. I R. I want to be able to look up and see this guy. Boy, it doesn't get prettier than that, does it? Actually, you know, it seems a little hazy in the distance. I like it. Before, I think I was sitting sitting too far back. I'd see more of the truck, but I'd uh, I'd miss more of the outside. But now I think I'm seeing more of the outside, which is a lot better. 90 kilometers an hour is obviously 55 miles an hour. Well, probably for the truck show. Uh, 
55 miles an hour in California. Easy like Sunday morning. Just a comfortable drive. I don't know what that red light was flashing. Now 55 seems pretty slow. Everyone's passing me. Because 55 I have it set to display the truck limit, not the car limit. In California the truck limit is 55. So we'll just take it easy here. Relax. Sometimes, you know, going 65, 75, sometimes when you're going 75, that that is a bit too fast. Because the cars will pile up and get some traffic. That reminds me, I need a traffic mod. Had to remove the traffic mod for uh, 1.29. No, I think I, I I got I just picked up a, a a light mod, and I think it's doing a good job. The I can really notice the uh, the AI vehicles lights a lot better. I'm driving my lights. On. Like when they break ahead of me, I can I can see it. It was a new mod just uh, just put out, I think. I, when I go to the workshop, I go to the Steam workshop, I always just go by recent. I don't, and the old ones don't seem to work anymore. And the problem is the old traffic density mods, I don't think, work either. See, I could easily tell that that pickup was putting his brakes on. Perfect. Especially because last time I made a video, I was like, I can't see anything. And I, and I thought no trucks had the... Nobody had the third light that everyone has these days. Because I could only see the two side lights. When people put on their brakes, I couldn't see the brake light. But now it's a lot easier. So it's working out really well. I, I can't tell you what it's called. But if you go to the Steam Workshop, and it, you search Recent from whatever today is, November... Today's the 12th, November the 12th, 8, uh, 2017. Watch this anytime close to that, then it'll be most recent. It's got a big, it's a mostly a black box with different lighting pictures. How far are we going through California? Looks like we're going pretty far in California. Yep. I'll tell you what, let's leave it like that. I don't like this. I wish they had this size GPS. But well, you know, I think it's probably better with this one. The other one looks more realistic because I'm going south. It's pointing down. But this one is kind of a little easier to follow that if it says go left, you go left. Because it's orientated to your truck. Oh, that's easier. Started out with a full tank of gas. I don't know what kind of gas mileage we're getting. It doesn't seem like it's very good. Uh, we got two tanks. One says what we're getting right now, one says what we're getting. I guess I should have reset that. So we're getting almost seven miles an hour. Seven miles per gallon average, 6.8. Sometimes better when we go downhill, sometimes worse. I guess 6.8 ain't too bad. So 55 will save you on fuel, so that you gotta spend time getting where you're, where you wanna get. Oh, this is no fun. Oh, killed my mount. Oh boy, it killed my mount. My momentum. Sorry. Thanks. Oh, I signaled right. I didn't. 
didn't change my city. Dublin. City limit, Bakersfield. Stop and get a burger. six hours. We need to rest in eight hours. Going to 7-Eleven on a Friday night in Vegas. Can do that. I still don't like these lights. They need to fix the lights. The red light is over the go straight lane. See, then it's, it says turn left now, but it, it's over my lane. That's not how you do lights. I don't know if they're going to go back and edit the lights. They said they would go back and edit signs because they made those new signs, the new uh, traffic signs, but I don't know if lights are on their agenda. Because it's not like they're going to make any money off of it. I mean, you got to be realistic when you want a company to do something. It's got to be, you know, something that either fixes a broken game or makes money. If it's just because the lights are a little messed up, it's not really a big deal. Unfortunately. Leaving Bakersfield. Knows that thing up there on the hill? GPS says it's not really there. Voltasen Motors, nice. I don't like Voltasen as much as I like the other ones. Bushnell and uh, 42 Print. This 42 Print is probably my favorite in-game company. Oh, okay, so let's see. Bakersfield. Don't know where it's next. We're heading out to Vegas. At 55 miles an hour. Those trees are a little. I forgot they had tumbleweeds. It's been forever since I saw a tumbleweed. These trees look a little weird. The green parts and the yellow parts. We've got the vegetation mod, which makes things pop a little better, I think. I don't know what they look like in real life, but they don't look realistic to me at all. I don't know if it's because of the, the shape, the color, the texture, I don't know, but it's something about those those kinds of trees. They don't look they don't look good. No, I don't think. That might be the way they really look. I don't know, but I don't think so. 
That's hard. Oh. But why haven't I seen tumbleweeds in so long? Because I've been keeping mostly to the main highways. On our way out to Vegas, on to New Mexico. Gonna drop off these doubles in Vegas. Kraft Heinz, moving meat to Vegas. Straight here. What's this sign say? Tonopah in Los Angeles. Zoom, zoom. Oh. I don't know what to do with this track I are. I guess I could adjust the track I are to let me look up a little more. If you look up too far, it just cuts out. I'm all for driving the speed limit, boy, boy 55. It's a bit slow. Even the stripes in the road, they just look like they're going by so slow. It's a little weird. Cause, you know, when you drive your car on the highway, they go by a lot faster than us. Uh oh. I'll be sitting there watching the stripes in the road. Suddenly, boom, miss, miss the merge. No passing zone. Some kind of forward, I think. I watch some people play this game, and boy, they can pick out these styles of cars, these models. Pick out the making and models and it's like it's nobody's business. I guess I just don't know that much about cars. You'd think the road to Vegas would be a little bit more, a little wider. You know, like a main highway type of thing. But I guess we're, we're taking a shortcut. Barstow or Los Angeles? I think we're going to Barstow. BMW? Oh well. Yeah, so I don't I don't know any of the makes or models. Some are easy to pick out. Look like at this room. Big S going on here. S for spear. We'll call this the spear exit.
feels like I just uh, paid the bank. So let's see. So we've got 118,000. Just paid the bank. Be there in three hours. All right, doing good on money. Need to buy another truck and hire another driver, though. Oh, that could be a chance for me to get a truck. Except I'd probably be sent back to Fresno, and I don't want to do that. I was right on the border of Arizona. Where was I? Holbrook? Is that the name of the place? I think I was there. And then uh, it sent me back to my truck headquarters. No fun. Oh, there you go. Prim, Las Vegas. Nice. We're almost to Arizona. It's a little weird. I've got one mod that replaces all the SCS companies like Bushnell Farms and Walbert and whatever else is out there. And then I've got another mod that puts those companies back in the game with the, uh, the vans. So you'll see 42 print vans and Bushnell Farm vans. What was that van that just drove by us? Uh, same room. Oh wow, look at that blimp. It's so low. It seems that they were higher before. Higher in the sky. Oh look, they're working on the uh, dynamic event. Fixing the, uh, whatever that is. Electricity wire. Telephone pole. Whatever you want to call it. That was cool. Although I don't know if that was a dynamic event. Because it could only be where there are telephone poles, electricity wires, and how often does that happen? So maybe it's not a dynamic event. But those random events are pretty cool. But I don't think that was one of them. Who knows? good. It's nice just to drive. I wish they had more signs with mileage. Some cable. I'd like to drive that kind of truck. Or that kind of truck. I'm surprised FedEx doesn't make some kind of game or brand some game. Just delivering uh, packages. It's got to be just as popular as this one, I would think. That's how you get into trouble on the highway. Spend your time sightseeing. A pretty big rest area. Which I apparently have been to at one time. are always interesting. Not nearly as big as the ones in New Mexico, though. Some of those are just huge. So, time we're going to get there? Oops. Oh, we've only got an hour and a half to go. So, we get there at 3 in the afternoon.
unless we keep going up these kinds of hills. it goes for a while and then when you drive out of range of the camera it switches back to camera one. Convenient. Still in California. I think there's just a bunch of plain vans in the game. I think the base game just has a bunch of plain vans, so it must paint them all. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. time they spend on those kinds of things that people will never really get to go to or see. But it's just something cool in the distance. Like the microwave transmitters, towers, I guess it's the cell tower. Alright, let's not, uh, you see the signs for Prim, so something is, uh, we're getting close to Nevada. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Nevada. I wasn't lying, we were close. It's the Prim, uh, amusement park. Now, judging by what I know about New Mexico, I'm going to guess if you Google map Prim, You'll see a picture of that very thing right there. Wouldn't surprise me in the least. What's that plane going? Is that going to Vegas? It looks like it might be landing in Vegas. Yeah. This Prim and Vegas are pretty close. Vegas downtown, half mile. Yep. Vegas, baby. Well, I wish they would have. Uh... Hey, one point two nine would have been the perfect time to fix work on this construction. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was a bump. Four Jacks Casino Hotel. Senior rates, thirty dollars. Not bad. Dynamic event. Guy with a box and a hole. We should probably get over. 
Shark free aquarium. I wonder why it's shark free. Because sharks should be free, not caged, but all the other fish are caged. The sharks are scary? No idea. lanes here. We are going to 7-Eleven. Which I can see on the GPS but not on the map. I like the waste management. Maybe a job where you drive a uh, you drive a trash truck around. You go, and you go around, you drive around, you empty bins. Or just any kind of truck you can make a game out of. People love driving trucks. Any kind of truck. Milkman? You don't really have milkman anymore, do you? Oh, this is not looking fun. Hey Jeff, let's see what happens here. I'm on the, oh, what, how, oh, what am I stuck on? Oh, stuck on, oh. I was like, what could I possibly be stuck on? There we go. <laughs> Just needed a little persuasion. Craft Heinz. I don't think this was made for doubles. Meat to Vegas. Excellent. 223, 910 XP. Professional driver here. No worries. Now we keep on to keep going east. Something from 7 Eleven. Right where we are. That does go in the right direction. But it doesn't pay very much. Clovis? Oh yeah. This is definitely the job. We're gonna get to see all of New Mexico here. Yes, yes, yes. Well, by all of New Mexico, I mean. Gallup, Albuquerque, and the highway. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Hey, my windows. Are... Why don't they make it so you can roll down the windows? You should be able to roll down the windows in your cab. All right. So I can either sleep before or after I pick up the job. It doesn't matter.
I'm supposed to go left, but needed that. Because we need to, uh, we need to hire another driver, get a truck. I like it when the trailers stay there. Oftentimes you'll drop off trailers and they just disappear immediately. When they actually stay there, you say, oh yes, that's what I delivered. Yeah, that's a oh, dude, come on. Whoa. Come on, lady. <sighs> Truck drivers around in Vegas are not so uh, friendly. Cool. Was that the Space Needle? I don't know everything they have in Vegas. I know they got the Eiffel Tower, they got the pyramids. The Space Needle does not seem like something that's uh, they would build. Are those the cars right there? With two trucks? <sighs> Looks like two trucks. Going to Clovis. Yep. Clovis. My name is Clovis. Am I doing something wrong here? It's feeling I just drove over a curb. Oh. Oh. Oops. Ah, close enough, right? Yeah, I think I hit that curb. Is there another curb? Yeah, there's another curb. Alright, so how do I get out of here? Turning right may be difficult. Turning left. Hmm. Maybe I will turn right. Union Pacific? I need to rest. In Clovis. And if it's like the other Union Pacific drop-off... Oh, did I just crashed into something? I don't know what I could have hit. If it's like the other Union Pacific in New Mexico... I'm just leaving a, a mess of destruction. A mass of destruction in my wake. Whoa! Oh, this game trolls so bad. Wow. Just wow. I'm like, I'm just looking at her and I'm like, well, there's nothing I can do here. I'm about to get slammed in, dude. Just waiting for it. And it must have missed me by an inch. That is crazy. That's crazy. guys tricked me. I'm 
now the question is, where can I rest? You'd think in Vegas I'd be able to find a hotel room, but not the case. Going through Kingman. Well, how many times have I been down this road? Oh, it did not automatically switch to the cat at that time. So I don't know what's going on with that camera. Sometimes it switches back to the cab. Sometimes it does not. All right. Looks like we're dropping some frames. So I hope the quality's still okay. Speed limit 80. Yeah, the we're never going to get up to 80. There's a rest stop in Kingman. No, I think they're doing construction on the hotel in Kingman. Well, we'll see when we get there. Let's be a little bit 70. closer before we plan our route. But this is going to be a good chunk of New Mexico, so this will be great. Some of Arizona will be driving in the morning. It's dark. Arizona, the Grand Canyon State, welcomes you. Woo, 75. Yeah, see, this is going to be too fast because the AI is going to do something derpy. Pass the Hoover Dam? I think I missed it. Why is everybody slowing down? Let's look at the lights on that truck. Much better. Much better than they were before. Let's see. I tried driving in some unexplored areas. Maybe unexplored is not the right word. In some unmapped areas. But the roads quickly dropped off into nothing. Did that earlier in Fresno. I still think that when a road, when a road has the X's, that at the end of the road they should just do something, like maybe a, a roundabout, just to let you turn around. I mean, I know they they think nobody goes down there, but they got to know that everybody goes down there sooner or later, just exploring, just to see what's down there. I would think most people. Please pull in for vehicle inspection. Ah. Saw one of these in New Mexico. It looked pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. They were uh, bigger, better. Pass the inspection. 
Because if I didn't hit under, I wouldn't pass. See, so I hate it how it stays 15 right here. Now I can try to get on the highway. Alright, so we've got a rest stop. Oh, it's on the other side of the room. stop down here but can't really get to the camp <sighs> so what should I do here should I go straight Well, I've already used half a tank of gas. From Fresno to Kingman is half a tank of gas? That's crazy. I think we're going to go straight here. We're supposed to get on the highway, but... Thanks for that. You could have pulled up there, dude. There's room. Maybe the AI doesn't think there's room there. That's why those guys aren't going. This is always a tough, uh, a tough intersection on the AI. There are often is issues here. They should redesign this somehow. I don't know how, but they should redesign it. Dude, the light's red for you now. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go straight. I see a uh, service center. Oh, it's already 618. Getting late. Friday night. I guess I should get fuel while I'm in town. Get fuel. Get some maintenance done on the truck. Take a nap. Continue on to Clovis. These trucks. These trucks. Oh, a couple cars. Okay, so those are, what do they say? Fords? These Mustangs? I don't know what those crew crab things are. Getting very sleepy. Historic Route 66. I don't know if you saw that or not. It was in the road. painted it on the road. I used to work on 66. Alright, uh, here we go. Easy peasy. place is not too attractive. Oh, we get something to drink over there. Oh, that reminds me. As long as I'm taking a break. I'm getting tired. Self. The ultimate. Advanced fuel. All 
right. Um, left would probably be best. Nice Volvo. Town bakery, crazy cow, crazy cow restaurant and apartments. Anna Ladova original handmade art. Patriots military antiques barber shop. Hey, wait a second. Some of those places I saw in uh, in New Mexico. The barber shop I know is in New Mexico. So I wasn't supposed to do that. I was supposed to do that. Well, all right. Just wear and tear. Nothing really to speak about. Let's just pull in here and take a nap. Get some rest. Well, that's not a good parking job, but as good as you're gonna get. But you gotta turn off the engine for a oh, That's an engine. Oh, that's all right. Four forty nine AM. Guess the Chinese takeout is closed. Although to be honest, I don't know anyone who eats Chinese for breakfast. You know, you get you know, people have pizza for breakfast, all kinds of leftovers for breakfast. But I've never heard anyone say they have Chinese leftovers for breakfast. Eh, take that back. Thanks, Chinese people. But yeah, it's not a common breakfast food. Yeah, that bar. Well, that's the number one barber shop. Actually, I think the barber shop I saw in New Mexico might be a different barber shop. So maybe they did make it just for New Mexico. Uh oh, merging. Ah, just in time for sunrise. 5 a.m. What a perfect time to start a trip. Well, to continue a trip at least. Ah, I should have looked at the map. To see points of interest along the way. Oh, we got the GPS good enough. Get the GPS and a road sign, we'll be fine. Gonna get the sun right in our eyes, though. Next up, Phoenix. Nope, I don't think we'll go through Phoenix. I think that's just the road that goes to Phoenix. Phoenix is more south. This is worrisome. I guess they're all going to Phoenix. No, just one guy, FedEx guy. It's always concerning when you're going faster than everybody else because you're wondering what's going on. Why am I so much faster than everyone else? Is there something I'm about to hit? I like these 
lights on these trucks now. The other trucks. Much more visible than the other ones. Much more. across all of Arizona, so be a bit of a chug. GC Caverns. One mile. GC Caverns. Uh, Grand Canyon Caverns? I'm gonna guess that's what the GC means. Grand Canyon Caverns. Route 66. Oh, there is something up there. See, to the left. GPS, yeah. I keep meaning to go check out all these things, but why are you in the middle of Arizona if you don't have a trailer and a schedule to keep? Speaking of schedule. I'm going to drop down to 65. Alright, speaking of schedule. Need to be there Sunday afternoon. It's currently Saturday morning. No problem. Oh, we won't even have to sleep again. We'll be there in 11 hours. And we're not even due for... We don't need to rest for 12. Oh, yeah. Perfect. We're going to be very early. No problem. Dark mirrors in my way. Camp Verde, Flagstaff, and Holbrook. Yeah, this guy's hauling some cars too. I doubt you could hear it, but I was honking my horn there. I was tooting him because we were carrying the same load. But, uh,. horn is not loud enough to hear. <laughs> the default horns on these trucks are really uh, not too cool. But when I bought this, I didn't have any money, so we don't have any other horns or lights. It's a pretty basic model. Volvo. kind of construction thing we got going on there. Bulldozer. Cool, cool. On a Volvo. Alright, so 40 East goes to Flagstaff. Our next stop. Well, Whoa, hey, dude, where's your lights? Dude. These drivers. Flagstaff, then Holbrook, it looks like. And then New Mexico. Perfect. Be nice and sunny when we get into New Mexico. Oh, it'll be sunny all the way to Clovis. Oh yeah, we'll be there in uh, what, 11 hours, so that'd be 6, 5, 6 at night. Perfect. Some nice houses. Logging truck. That's cool. I don't know if that's a job for me. I don't know if I've ever seen that job. Maybe it doesn't pay as much as some of the other jobs. Because I, I sort the jobs by how much they pay per mile. trees don't pay that well for the drivers. trees over here. It's 
part of Arizona is quite nice. Although the other part is nice as well. This is going to cruise by these state, state troopers there. Don't mind us. Everybody's done that job, the pipes. Boy, that guy's hard to see. This time in the morning, I find it kind of hard to see um, other vehicles. The ones without lights are harder to see. Just the electric charge. I said, yeah, that must just be for the electricity because why well, aren't they the hybrids with gas and electricity? I'm sure they get much further. It's just on gas. I get I get more than that mileage on, on gas. So maybe it's uh, well, maybe they got smaller gas tanks as well. Because I mean, if you're, if you're if you have a gas engine and an electric engine, I guess the gas engine doesn't have to be as big or powerful as normal. So it probably carries less fuel. So I, I don't know how those work. <sighs> That's a mod, the banana truck, the Minion banana truck mod. Dynamic event there. Cops stopping somebody for speed. They don't happen often, but they happen enough just to make it so much more realistic. Those random events. So good. Strangely, I haven't had any that have closed lanes on the highway yet. Road construction. Knock on wood. I haven't seen any this trip for the ones that closed the roads. When I first started 1.29 like the first couple ones were always closing a lane so maybe they changed it or maybe I was just getting unlucky alright something's going on up here starting to say New Mexico getting close Holbrook Albuquerque to the right Holbrook Cayenta 
Albuquerque to Kumari. This is where they used to have the X's, I guess. Right here. The end of the road? Probably. Eh, maybe not. No, oh, come on. The blue card locked me in. This next Holbrook exit is probably where they had the exits. Keeping you from New Mexico. A little way station? Big way station. Brant's Road. Wait a second, no, this has got to be new. Yeah, that must have been. I don't remember Grant's Road. That must have been Are we in New Mexico? Oh no no. I mean it wasn't right at the All right. I was thinking, but it's, it wasn't right at the border were they? So it stopped you before the border. Look at that. Cool. Whoa! Alright. Little less uh rubbernecking. Welcome to New Mexico side. See, now look at this rest stop. It's much different than the other rest stops. And there's a guy there. Hey, dude. Everything okay? My weight's good? Thanks, man. Have a good one. I don't seem to talk a lot. No, but yeah, see, this is a lot different. Well, I guess I could have. Is it also a rest stop? Could also be a rest stop or something? Uh, maybe. No, there's no place to rest. All right. A little lag there. Those are cool. Gallup discovered. Gallup, New Mexico. Ship. What was, what was that? Ship Rock. Gallup. Through traffic, use left lane. I am going through. Yeah, thirty to left lane. Straight? Going straight. On to Albuquerque. Whoa. This camera the camera is freaking me out. What is it doing? What is that thing up on the hill? Gallup has some huge ring on top of a hill that looks like it's just gonna roll down any minute now. What? doesn't make any sense. But all right. That was weird. Well, we'll make it back to Gallup. We'll make it back to all these cities and check them out a little more. But now we're on our way to Clovis. Clovis. Look at Gallup over there. Hotel. I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of fireworks stand. Exxon Mobil. Is Exxon Mobil? Well, or whatever it's called in the base game. I don't even remember the names of those. Oh, Gallon Oil. Cool, cool, cool. Let's follow this cop. It's always a good idea. Boom. Oh. Uh, 
the Scripps Canyon. Like the rocks. I guess they're saying New Mexico is really rocky, at least in the west, northwest. Cool, cool. I did get rid of the uh, tractor mod, tractor in traffic. It didn't seem to be working in uh, 1.29. Oh. So I had to get rid of that. Just for, that was fine. Those things went too slow and were on too many roads, I think. You'd have to get somewhere in a hurry and then a tractor would pull out and go 20 miles an hour. No fun. Well, hey, 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 Sky City is the next city. We have some facilities. Sky City. And for the GPS, it looks like most of it is on the left. Sky City, oh, that's a uh, giant truck stop, isn't it? Wait a second, I think I read something about that on the blog or something. The Sky City truck stop. Okay, I need to pay attention probably. Casino, hotel, rest area down there. Oh man, I'm going way too fast. <laughs> Alright, that was Sky City, whatever you could see of it. Not much. We flew through there. Landscape in the median there. The city must have paid a bunch of money for that. It's actually, we're in the middle of nowhere. Well, the GPS saying this is not a city, but there's lots of stuff. Alright, what's. So we just went to three lanes. Guys getting over, so something. Oh, wait a second. I think we might need to. No, we're going straight through Albuquerque. All right. Some people are turning in Albuquerque, but this is going to be 12th Street in Albuquerque. Oh, random event. Broken on bus. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Albuquerque. Let's look this way. Anything? Some interesting buildings. Well, it's hard to see at 75 miles an hour. Oh. There's been a lot of traffic. Okay, people are turning off. Oh, look at the GPS. It's saying, get over, get over. Exit. That is helpful. Oh, this is that giant intersection that they made. They just blogged about this at the SCS blog about how hard it was to make this with so many different pieces and so many different ramps. But supposedly it lights up at night, so it's a lot cooler at night. Tidbit? No. No. No, I couldn't really see Tidbit. Most surprising of all of Albuquerque is that I haven't hit anybody yet. Because I was looking around quite a bit. Just paid the bank again. Pretty good, I think. 
Definitely enough to get another truck and another driver. Right now we got four trucks. Four drivers. It's pretty nice to have another one. Fill the garage. Oh, let's try to look at the birds. I gotta do something about this track. I don't Get it angled right. All right, so what we did, we went through um, Gallup, Sky City, Albuquerque. Just kind of flew right through. But there'll be plenty of time for looking through everything. All of our deliveries now are just going to be in New Mexico for a while. see the AI with their brakes on. I always want to check the speed limit. Because they pay attention to that kind of thing. They just pass that guy. area. Fairly large. East on Albuquerque to Santa Fe. I think Santa Fe is the capital. Don't hold me to that. I think Albuquerque is the biggest city and Santa Fe is the capital. Probably. Doesn't really matter, but just a point of interest. See, I like they, they teach people, well, kids, you know, they teach you all the state capitals and stuff, and they think it's cool when you can remember them and recite them in alphabetical order and stuff, but I, I was never like that. There's no reason to learn the state capitals, there's no reason at all. I mean, unless you're in the state, it doesn't matter. You've got to know your own state's capital, but why would you need to know other states? I, I don't understand where, why that would ever come up as a thing. As a useful bit of information. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need to uh, cut that guy off. Breeze past him and cut him off. Like an unfriendly driver. Sorry, dude. South on 54. Doesn't look like anything's around here. But no, so I don't know any of the state capitals. Well, I guess I'm. Well, no. Pretty good at geography. I mean, I know all the states where they all are. I know where a lot of cities are, but I just don't know which ones are the capitals. That doesn't seem useful. Knowing where states are, that's useful. Knowing where cities are is useful. Which ones the capitals are? Couldn't care less. Here we are, rural. Uh, Mexico. Oh, look at this little community here. Got a church, some buildings, a barn, some mobile homes. Nice to have a gas pump there. Roadside rest area. 
looks kind of full. Hmm. I'd love to drive down there. Remember, I got the mod that takes off all the X's, so I could have driven down there. If I wasn't on a job. I don't know, one of these days I'm just going to drive through all the X's. I don't know where they would have been. Check them out. The one I saw before I started the stream in Fresno, it was, it was no fun. I mean, I... Ooh. The one in Fresno, where I uh, was driving on the un unmapped roads, one of them just, no, actually both of them, one of them emptied into a trees, you know, the road just trees, and one of them went into the side of a hill. So when they draw the X's across the road for you not to cross, they really mean it. So there's not much back there. But there were some buildings and stuff. All right, so we survived that near miss. Whoa, whoa! What's going on over there? It's got kind of a fighter jet. I know New Mexico. I think New Mexico has the White Sands, um, White Sands testing base. I guess there's nothing on the GPS, but yeah, they have uh, the military does stuff in New Mexico. Just because there's nothing else around. Who's going to see? That's why I don't believe any of that Roswell stuff. It's really just the military tested stuff. Well, these don't look very nice. Well, I think they're... Oh, see, look at that fighter jet. What? Cool. It's really out in the middle of nowhere. DHL and UPS guys taking a break instead of delivering. Come on, guys. Alright, what's this? Whoa. It's a strange place to park. See, I'd love to drive on that bridge, but I don't see any way up there. It's not on the GPS. They got a lot of roads you can't drive on. And I wish they'd just connect them all. It doesn't have to be terribly realistic, but I just wish they were all connected so you didn't have any X's. There wasn't, there isn't any place you can't go to. Dude. Got some horses over there. Electro store, thrift shop, appliances, smart bucks, pawn shop, two smart bucks. Is that a church? No, stagecoach. Cool, cool. The no named village on 54. Well, it was 54. Now it says East U.S. 60. I really hope I'm not going east. This guy's just standing out in the field. Vote for uh, Mick Sackall. Oh, nope, he's an attorney. Never mind. Why did that sign say East when I'm... Oh, yeah, I'm going East right now. Oops. I think for a second. 
And I see our delivery point. We are getting close to Clovis. Cool. Oh, there's that train. The train goes through a city. The train was in a... Uh, it's a Santa Fe train. I don't know if it's particular if it goes in Santa Fe. Well, there is another one. They showed it in the uh, trailers. That it goes through a city and you get stopped by it. Diagonally. Cool. I don't know if we can catch up to it or not. Heading to work. Burglars are too. Yeah, you'd hate to come home from work and find somebody who burgled your place. Stolen your stuff. Uh, come on, dude. I mean, it's not like the movies. Burglars typically steal from poorer people, I think. Richer people have alarms and don't go to bad places and have security guards and gated communities. Like that bird, the roadrunner thing. I'm going to guess it's a roadrunner thing because that's what the statue means. Clove is discovered. That's twice now I've had to cut off another truck because I didn't know where I was going. Plaster and Sons, Voltus, two Voltus and motors, and then just a white one. We're going to Union Pacific in Clovis. Drop off these cars, they'll get on a train and go somewhere. One of the mods I have is the realistic lights, stop lights, where they're longer than uh, normal. Oh, there it is. There's the jet. On the way to Clovis, it's something about jets in Clovis. I don't know. But the, they make the lights longer. Longer on green and longer on red. The mod. Which I, I like. I'm glad it still works. Oh, see, this we would have gotten stopped here. Why is the speed limit 15? Come on. I can see me getting tickets in that location. Oh, we just made it by with that cop coming. So this doesn't look very cool. This looks like it's fast and busy. Yep. horses are actually moving walking around what I've never seen that before usually the horses their heads are moving but not the rest of them look at that horse cool it used to be that just their their heads would go up and down but now they actually run around well, that, that was cool it might just be in New Mexico because we passed horses on them in Arizona they didn't do anything was cool. Well, I mean, interesting. It wasn't the most 
most exciting thing in the world, but just an example of what they've changed, how things are more realistic. All right, here we go. Uh, Union Pacific. Uh, all right, pull ahead. We're loading up these uh, train cars. Two trucks and two cars seem like not a great delivery, but it's a lot of effort for four vehicles driving across two states. Whoops. A bit further. There we go. Two pickups, two Mustangs delivered. Clovis. The R and R stop. Oh, trains. Cool, cool, cool. Wait a second, what happened there? What, what, what? Wait, what? Huh. Okay, so I was one inch too far forward. Got it. Still need to be perfect in those boxes. Vegas to Clovis, 800 miles, $44,000, 2,000 XP. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. Do I need another? I'm to 2,500 miles. Is the map longer than 2,500 miles? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll go with boring fuel economy just to save some money. That's pretty boring. All right. Uh, let's do the drivers, see how they're going. What's going on with them? Anna K. Hazardous cargo loads. Let's just go with balanced. Ow. There's my cat. Let's see. Olivia's balanced. He's on fragile. He's got too much fragile. Let's move him to just in time. He has no just in time, so he needs a couple of those. He say he's making less money than everybody else. And Maya B. Long distance, she's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Let's just set her to balanced also. All right, so everybody's making good money here. 3,500 a day, 59, 16, 45. So they're making plenty of money. So everything's good there. 216. Boy, I should hire another driver. I don't want to hire another driver when I'm in New Mexico, though, because they might put me back, too. I don't want to go back to Phoenix. That's where our headquarters is. So, since we have so much money, let's just repay. And repay. Yeah. Good, good, good. Let's see what we can find here in Clovis. Clovis, New Mexico. Oxnard, uh, we want to go to New Mexico. Uh, Clo that's just where we came from. Oh. Socorro or Roswell? Roswell pays the lowest. Socorro looks like a construction houses or empty pallets. Boy, this is some kind of choice. Playing construction houses or empty pallets. Let's go to Socorro. It's a little longer. Let's see more things. Ow. All right. Uh, I have no idea where we're going. I should have looked at the uh, picture. Right, let's look at that again. 
again. Where are we going? Beezer Homes to Union Pacific. Got it. Beezer Homes. Oh, good. Get a better look at the yard. Oh, this thing's big. Nice and long. Now I've just got to find oh, oh. Man. That camera's a little tricky. Now we got to find Beezer home. I don't remember passing these or homes. So it's probably to the right. Cool. And of course it's too left. Oh wait a second, I turned left in. Well I didn't pass it, I just forgot where I was going. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. This is not fun to pull out into. How am I going to manage this? I hope that red truck knows I'm pulling out in front of it. Oh, this car. I just wanted to let him go by and then I would have gone, but he had to slow down. GPS is telling me to get in the other lane. Correct. Ah, oh, there's Beezer Homes. Clovis doesn't really, uh, got a rusty bulldozer on the back of an immacul immaculate truck. What do we got? Walmart. Two? Is that two? This looks like two Walmarts and a Beezer Homes. And a broken down burger place. What's going on on the corner there? Look at that. Burger fell over into the building. Blake's lot of burger. Lot of burger? I thought it was hot a burger. I mean, in real life, it's what a burger. But I thought in this game it said hot a burger. Maybe there's hot a burger and a uh, lot of burger. In the game. One of them, because that's Blake's, uh, Blake's lot of burger. And the other place I don't think says Blake's. Possibly be going on up there. Nothing. There was nothing in front of them. What was that all about? All right. These are homes. Oh, this is not a home. This is a huge um, apartment building on the outskirts of Clovis. Jeff, man. Jeff, is this the right place? And these are homes building this huge apartment. Or whatever it is, it looks like a hospital. This is, this is a huge hole. Oh, come on. What could they possibly be building? What could bees or homes be doing in this place? Oh, I forgot to press the... You gotta click on the thing to accept the job, don't you? I didn't see it pop up. Maybe I was too busy goofing around with Jeff. Yeah, I see the... Uh-oh. I should have been paying more attention. 
I'm just telling you right now, it's difficult to back up with a cat. Yeah, I was goofing around with Jeff and missed the... Uh, missed this. Although I guess it was after Jeff. Construction houses or a reservoir or the reservoir tank. That was the other job, but it was the same route I had just taken. So we don't want to go do that. Again. Well, actually, maybe we should take the same route. I mean, I've only been down it once. Going down a second time would let me see things I missed the first time. That's a good point. That's great. That's what's great about this thing. There's so much stuff that you'll always see something new. You just got to look for it. Might be off in the distance. Okay, so that's what I'm picking up. Come on. Go on. No, no. Okay, so can't get rid of the cat. Hey, who's that hiding behind the pipes? <laughs> Not going to give me a hand. Construction houses, offices, I don't know what they call them. They call them houses or offices or something. Cool. I love this view. We can just see everything. The whole uh, the gas station over there, the whole background, all the things they have put down here, the pallets. The attention to detail they made. Not exactly the best camera view for this drive, but... Coro, our destination. <laughs> All right, I got him, Jeff. I will uh, see you when I get back, presumably. Five hours, got a long time to deliver, and I think I need to rest sooner or later. Yeah, I need to rest in a couple hours. So. Miss out on those two Walmarts up there across the street from each other. I like these lights. So New Mexico, they did lights the right way. Over the right lane. They're sideways like they're supposed to be. Well, like they can often be. They did a lot of things in New Mexico right that they didn't do right in the other states. Tanker. Well, I don't think I've ever delivered that tanker. I don't know why. It just never seems to pop up for me. Deliver that, the uh, pressure tanker. Deliver that several times. Sell so goods. I'll 
try to find a hotta burger. So I think there was one in Gal. We didn't get we didn't uh, we didn't stop in Gal, did we? We just went through the highway. All those cities we went through were mostly on the highway. Cool. I love that stuff on the roads. Whoop. That's where we came out of. We're supposed to be going a lot faster than these guys are going. to find gas and a rest stop. It should be fine. Was it five? Five o'clock at night? Saturday night? We'll be fine. Oh, the New Mexico plate. Look at that. The yellow uh, New Mexico license plates. Cool. Coach has one too. Well, that's a little unrealistic. All right, so we're on Highway 70. I'm assuming that's west. Yeah, south southwest. Oops. All right, so it does look like there's a rest stop coming up here. For too long. Wow. More horses. Oh. Cows. So cows don't seem to walk around. Well, I guess in real life. Horses are a little more active than cows, aren't they? Is that the ventilation shaft? I think that's what it is. I don't want to pass this guy because I know as soon as I do we'll be at the uh, rest stop. I'm hoping it's on our side of the road. I guess that Clovis was the first city we really actually, the first New Mexico city we actually drove through. That was nice. I mean, nothing really particularly fancy. Hello, Rain. The boss. You're here for our last trip of the day. We're about to take a rest stop. We're in Clovis, New Mexico. What's going on over there? kind of a busy place to stop. There's our Volvo. There's our container house. Let's take a nap. Why is it telling me to stop the engine? I stopped the engine. There we go. 4.11. And now we're the only ones here.
Whew, it's hard to see. It's dark in New Mexico in the middle of the night. Wow, I can't see anything. <laughs> I can see that. Um, wow. What's the speed limit? Uh, 65. Alright, so this is kind of not a good spot for a rest area. Unless you want to sit here, watch the traffic drive by. Why is that guy going so slow? Thanks, dude. Went so slow. There you go. Nice big gap. Off we go. We're going to Socorro next. Wherever Socorro is. sure where Socorro is. So Clovis is all in, in the east of New Mexico. All the way, went all the way to the east. And now we're going back towards the west. Socorro. Oh, the sky's getting a little lighter over there. Construction houses, is that what they're called? Construction houses, yeah. To Union Pacific. Oh, we just made a drop to Union Pacific. Come on. This delivery should... Oh, come on, dude. So we got another about four hours. Sides are going by too fast. 285 north to Vaughn, 285 south to Roswell. So there's where we get off and we're going to Roswell. We'll make that trip one day. And now we're going to Socorro. Uh -oh. We are south on 70. State 70. Come on, sunrise. Probably unsafe to be speeding and passing. Oh my goodness! And to be looking in the mirrors and looking around while other traffic is coming. That was not. Um, not good. Alright, what do we got here? Left to Rosmel, Roswell, right to Alamo Gordo. I've been to Alamo Gordo on the YouTube channel. You will remember that. Uh, we saw the cow in the car wash. No, no, was that in Alamo? No, that was on the way to Alamo Gordo. That was at the intersection of 380 and 54. Oh, wait a second, that was, yeah, we're gonna hit that same place again. Uh, I might wanna go see that cow again. One of my buttons is a zoom button. Is this it? No. I got a zoom button mapped one of the buttons to a zoom button. Is this it? No. This? No. This? No. Ha! Alright, one of the buttons I've got is a zoom button, and I have no idea which one. I 
wish I could remember. I like to zoom in on things. That's what I should be doing. As we discover New Mexico, zooming in on it, interesting things. And I could have sworn I pressed the thing. One of the buttons is for zoom. But at least none of the buttons crashed us. Which is a bit of a surprise because I often crash when trying things like that. Wow, wouldn't say often. But just sometimes. It's been known to I've been known to have that happen to me. Trying buttons and uh, having a little whoopsie while doing it. Perhaps that's not the proper use of whoopsie either. Carazozo. That was Carazozo is the place. This is it. Yeah, Carazozo. It says turn. No, wait. This isn't it. It's in Caraz. Wait, I don't know where we're going. I don't know where we're going. Billy the Kid, historical exhibit. trying to learn these roads, but it's not making it easy. Any more signs? So this is the road to Carrizozo. But I thought it was 380. Is this still 380? Oh, look at this bridge. That is a cool bridge. Couldn't see barely any of it at night here. Don't move the hat. See, they've got like these wooden railings. They're cool. Can't move the hat because it the hat the track IR moves the uh, moves the camera. So don't move the hat. Okay, yeah, we're still on 380. I was like, wait a second, I know the place we're going. It was at 380. So. When we turned right, we stayed on 380. See, highways normally, you know, they go straight. When they make turns like that, and there's another road that goes off, you'd expect it to go straight. Not always the case, and I got a little confused by it. for now. Cool, cool, cool. No, well, thanks for your follows, guys. Appreciate that. Always nice to know people are following. Even lurkers. I won't call you out. Feel free to lurk. There we go, yeah. 380, this is 54. Yep, there's a sign for 54. That, in the gas station where it says cafe. Actually, why does it say cafe? It's a gas station. Seki's Cafe is really a gas station with a car wash. And the car wash had a cow in it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to drive over there. I always get into trouble when I take a detour, no matter how small it is. So we'll see what happens here with me taking a very short detour. Just through the corner here. Yeah, the cow is still there. So that is not, it wasn't a random thing. The cow is in the car wash. That is not a random thing. The cow just stays in the car wash constantly. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess I should at least put it on the camera, shouldn't I? <laughs> There's the cow. Just sits there and eats something. Maybe they got some grass growing out of the, uh, I didn't notice those guys. Maybe it's got some grass growing out of the car wash. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you know what? As long as I'm here, why don't I get fuel? Fuel wasn't part of the plan, but. 
we do need some. Four hundred dollars. Take a look at things. It's kind of hard to get. This is camera number two. It's not always easy to get a good look at things. But at least it moves on like camera number eight. Oh, that, whoa, that moves way too much. I was like, whoa. All right. so I'm starting to learn these roads. Where the highways go. That's always cool. Well, I mean. nice to be able to follow along follow things by like by the signs you know actually what I think some people do I think some people when they start a load they, they pick up the they pick up the load and then they look at the Jeep they look at the map and they write down where they need to turn like it would have been like 380 to 54 to highway 40 or whatever and they'll just look at what they've written down they won't use the GPS they just use the signs on the road which I guess is kind of the way they used to have to do it you know when you just have paper maps and stuff but nowadays most vehicles well I don't know if I'd say most many vehicles have come with the uh, GPS and stuff so I'm sure trucks do you know, trucks go all over the country. You can't know every road everywhere. So, I wouldn't mind doing that. I do often do that. Just look at the signs. Here to go. Ooh, mercy. Hogs. Yeah, I've got to remember to center what I'm looking at on the camera. When I was talking about that cow, I was like, oh, see the cow. And you, no, you couldn't see the cow. Got to get it on camera. Look at that Rusted through. Omega chairs. I think it's that comfortable. Maybe it's just the way I'm sitting. Maybe I'm too low in it, I think. I don't know. It's not as comfortable as I thought it would be. Maybe it's made for smaller people. I don't know. Am I too tall? have to pass these guys if something doesn't happen. And it looks like nothing's happening. But boy, there's three of them. I, yeah, I won't be looking around three of them. The van and two trucks. It's going to be difficult to get around them all. Yep. Ooh. Ah, a little slalom there. I'll probably get a ticket for this. I thought they gave you a ticket if you drove on the wrong side of the road too long. Look at that, it's just in certain areas. on 25 freeway out of this toll road stuff where are we going Socorro west 20 quarter mile we're, so we're almost there 
Socorro, 60 west. Oh, is that just a quarter mile to the exit? Oh, that was just to the exit. going both ways. Well, it was a quarter mile of the city. Socorro. You come up upon a Chevron, your first stop. I think I've been to that Chevron. I think I've delivered to that Chevron on YouTube. Don't hold me to it. What do we got there? Slam Pete Motel? Doesn't make any sense. We can go 60 west to Arizona if we want. Oh, car wash. We could pull in there, actually. Uh, I don't know if it's got the clearance for a truck, though. Yeah, it looks like it might. I think a truck might fit in there. Should we turn right or go straight? Let's go straight. The GPS was sending us right, but it looks like straight is better choice there's the diner oh we saw that in Clovis the same diner burger hot dog sandwiches pizza oh I missed that sign darn it I wanted to read that sign what was that thing? low stoke K of P ball Lodema Stadium Cinema. You need to go to the movies in Socorro. I recommend the Loma. Because that's the highway we just got off of. Tiny little houses. I guess they're mobile homes. Uh, that is an interesting barrier right across the road there. They painted right to the. You know what? I think we. Uh, I think we drove through some X's there. wasn't paying attention. Rubbernecking. Oh. It won't let me, uh... Oh, now I'm completely stuck on something? So I can't turn around here. I'm going to have to back out of here. Which is not going to be pretty. Oh no, this road just ends. It's right at the train train tracks here, huh? Cool. Well, it is cool, but I didn't want to have to go down this way to find out that it was cool. Now there's a bunch of traffic. And of course they won't let me... Uh,
why I'm all over the road. Don't miss your turn, folks, because it's all kinds of messy if you do. Oof. All right. And I've got to back it up right in here next to the sign. Oops. How am I going to back it into there? Back it right in there next to that. Oh. Can I pull up in here? Ooh. Not really. Well, I'm just taking a guess on where to go. I don't want to hit the uh... all right let's see where I am at okay so I am uh, a few feet over let's um let's pull all the way up there really turn enough. It's just guesswork when you can't see anything. I'm like I'm just guessing it exactly where it is or where it goes. Perfect. Well, I don't know if I'd say perfect, but it's in there. Yeah. See, a lot of it is just guesswork. I'm like, oh, I know that it's supposed to go back there somewhere. Pretty good job, I think. Construction homes to Socorro. Excellent job. 288 miles. Actually, yeah, sitting up taller actually makes this chair feel better. Level 22, professional. $11,700. Can't complain about that. All right, so. I think today we did a good job. We did delivered lots of uh, things. Looks like the stream dropped lots of frames, so I'm going to have to work on that, not to drop frames, because I'm probably out of sync. When you drop frames, you get out of sync. So you might notice my voice out of sync, the truck sounds out of sync. Got to work on that. I don't know why it's doing that. It wasn't doing that in any of my tests. But doing it now. Oh, yeah, because I'm iRacing. Is it really playing it? 
wreaking havoc with my uh, router. Left to pay 217,000, nice. So we're almost out of debt, but I'm just gonna spend it more on garages and uh, trucks and drivers. Okay, so here's where we went. Well, from today, we came all the way down from, uh, where is it? Fresno, went to Vegas, went down and up to Vegas, through Kingman, yeah, GC Village, Grand Canyon Village through Kingman, through Flagstaff, Holbrook, Gallup, Albuquerque. We didn't stop in Gallup or Albuquerque. We drove, we flew by. This must be Sky City here. Just stopped on the highway, went down 54 to get on 60 to Clovis. Then out of Clovis, that's where we hit the Reunion Pacific and dropped off the cars. Then we got this job, came down 70 and 380. 380 and 54 is where the cow is in the car wash. Kept on 380, got on 25 just for a bit into Socorro. And that was our trip today. Well, our three trips today on our world map. So we did a, we really only got to look at Clovis. A little bit of Socorro, not really, but Clovis we got a little bit more. I'll try to get more of Socorro in there. And we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and Gallup and Albuquerque. So, and really, if we're going to we're going to spend. If I can talk, we're going to spend a, a lot of time in New Mexico just studying all these different things. But then I still like to do those long drives. Maybe a why? How have I discovered that? Maybe a Hornbrook to uh, Hobbs drive <laughs> from one one end of the map to the other. Something fun. But all right, well, thanks for watching, you guys. This has uh, been Sunday morning trucking. We made a lot of money. We paid off two bank loans. I just haven't bought another truck because I don't want to get sent back to Fresno again. I want to stay in New Mexico and uh, discover the rest of New Mexico next time. And thanks for the followers today, the lurking followers. Always appreciate that, guys. And I guess I will see everybody next time for more American Truck Simulator. This is The Spear. Hope you enjoyed first look at New Mexico. Join me next time. Thanks for watching. Now I just need to remember how to cut this thing off. Mm -hmm.